Hey guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back, and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I'm going to talk to you about a story that broke yesterday out there in Philly. Shout out Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's about three uh, young kids or young men. They're saying that, juveniles. But um, they got on the bus out there in Philly. Refused to pay, got into an argument with the bus driver, right? Went up the block a couple of, uh, went up the street a couple of blocks, riding on the bus without paying. Jumped off the bus, and one of them decided to shoot the bus up, firing four shots and hitting three women. One woman was shot or grazed in the head. Another woman was shot in the thigh, and the third one was shot in the back. One of these women that was shot... Supposedly he had her six or eight year old son with her. I don't know what goes on in the minds of a lot of these people nowadays. But it's like at any given time nowadays, somebody can feel disrespected or just get mad. And you might face the brunt of their violence and not even be a part of it. I want you guys to take a look at this. I got part of the press conference too and it's very telling of what happened. And it gives you a lot more detail. But, I mean, stuff got to change, man. For real. I mean, it's like normal nowadays. It's like the Old West. Just pull a gun out and just shoot it in any direction possible as long as you pulling the trigger and feeling like you're making a statement. Especially against people that don't have nothing to do with it. Take a look. We've got some breaking news right now in Philadelphia's Cobbs Creek neighborhood. Three women shot while riding a SEPTA bus. It happened at 57th and Larchwood. The shooters were told firing into the bus from the outside. Let's get right to Action News reporter Leland Pender, who just arrived on this scene seconds ago. John, uh, rather Leland, uh, what more do we know right now? Well, John, or uh, uh, rather Brian, excuse me, take a look at the scene here. The SEPTA bus just pulled off and police have just reopened the road here at Larchwood and 57th. They're still on scene directing traffic. Take a look at this video, though, that we've been shooting for a couple of hours here this evening. Police say this all began in South Philadelphia. That's where three people boarded that bus, possibly juveniles, and had a verbal altercation with the driver for not paying the fare. But police say the driver shrugged that off and there were no other disruptions. How However, a few miles later, when those three got off the bus at 57th and Catherine here in Cobbs Creek, police say one fired into the bus. Those three adult women hit by stray bullets. Now, the bus driver kept going a short distance here to Larchwood and 57th, and that's when police say everyone on board that bus ran. They got off out of fear and for their safety, except those three innocent shooting victims who were taken to the hospital. When police arrived on location, they went onto the SEPTA bus and they found three victims. A 29-year-old female shot in the hip. They found a 56-year-old female who was shot in the back and a 60-year-old female with a grazed wound to her head. So three adult females. Police took all three females off the SEPTA bus and rushed them to Presbyterian Hospital. All three of these females are in stable condition. Certainly some scary moments for those victims and everyone else on that bus. Police right now have not made any arrests, but they are uh, working to gain access to video on board the bus and outside the bus to help with the investigation. They also have some other recordings that have already been sent their way. But again, the road here back open, the investigation wrapping up literally just now. Back to you, Brian. Right, right. Just after just after 4.30 p.m., 18th District Police responded to several 911 calls report of a shooting on a SEPTA bus at 5, 7, and Larchwood. When police arrived on location, they went onto the SEPTA bus and they found three victims. A 29-year-old female shot in the hip. They found a 56-year-old female who was shot in the back and a 60-year-old female with a grazed wound to her head. So three adult females. Police took all three females off the SEPTA bus and rushed them to Presbyterian Hospital. All three of these females are in stable condition. Now, the information we got from witnesses, as well as the SEPTA bus driver, we know that three young males, possibly juveniles, got on the SEPTA bus in South Philly on Oregon Avenue. 
And when they got on the bus, they had some words with the bus driver. According to the bus driver, they did not pay the fare. They just got on the bus and walked to the back of the bus. At 57th in Catherine, these same three males got off of the bus, and then one of them pulled the gun and shot into the bus four shots. We found four spent shell casings at 57th and Catherine, and we found four bullet holes in the passenger side of the bus. So for some unknown reason, one of these three males who exited the bus at 57th and Catherine pulled a semi-automatic handgun and shot into the bus from outside, and the bullets struck these three females. And then these, the shooter and the two males he was with fled on foot in an unknown direction. According to the bus driver, the SEPTA bus was full to capacity with over 50 passengers. Uh, they fled on foot after the bus stopped at 57th and Larchwood, a couple blocks from the shooting scene. The passengers all exited and fled from the bus. The three female victims remained on the bus and police took all three to Presbyterian Hospital. But according to the bus driver, the bus was filled to capacity. He believes over 50 passengers. Now we got preliminary information that there was a six-year-old shot. The reason that we got that information, which was wrong, is because the 29-year-old female was with her son and we believe the son's about six or seven years of age. But the 29-year-old who was shot in the hip was with her six or seven-year-old son, but he was not struck by gunfire. So although four bullets went into the bus from the passenger side, three females were struck by gunfire. We're very, very fortunate, not only that all three are in stable condition, including the 60-year-old female who was grazed to her head. So she's very, very lucky. But with over 50 people on the bus, we're actually lucky that there weren't additional shooting victims. But four bullets entered the bus. Clearly, there's four bullet holes in the bus. And three females were struck by gunfire. Now, right now, we don't know why the person who fired the shots into the bus, we don't know what motivated that person to do that. When he initially got on the bus with two others, at Oregon Avenue, they had some words with the driver. However, the driver pretty much shrugged it off, and these three would appear to be young or juvenile males, then walked to the back of the bus, and there were no altercations after that. But for some reason, when they got off the bus a few miles later, at 52nd, 57th, or 57th and Catherine, they got off the bus, and clearly one of the males who was wearing a medical mask, a blue medical mask, for some reason, fired shots, we believe at least four shots, into the bus. Now fortunately, these septic buses have interior as well as exterior surveillance cameras. So septa they are on location and we're in the process, our detectives are in the process of retrieving those recordings. And we already do have some good photographs of the shooter and the other two that were with the shooter. We already did receive some good recordings of them and at 57th and Catherine, where the three got off the bus and fired the shots from on the highway, were looking for additional private surveillance cameras in the area. But at this time, we have three adult females. They were all passengers on this bus, and they were all struck by gunfire. We believe that they were all struck by stray gunfire. The bus was so crowded, and since the shooter was firing from outside the bus, we believe all three were just innocent victims struck by stray gunfire. They just happened to be on this bus while this individual fired shots into the bus. So the fact that they were all in stable condition, they're very, very lucky, especially the 60-year-old who shot in the head. But hopefully our cameras, as well as other witnesses, can help us identify the shooter and the other two individuals with the shooter. Away. So traveled six blocks until they stopped here and they got off? Yeah, the, after the shots were fired, the bus traveled just a few blocks north. Okay. And that's when the bus stopped. And 
Most of those 50 passengers got off the bus because they were in fear, but the three shooting victims remained on the bus, waited for police, and police took them to Presbyterian Hospital. Did the second driver, like, floor it, trying to get away? Was he unaware there had been a shooting, or is it protocol to keep moving for them? The, 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 the bus driver knew that there were shots fired, as well as the passengers, but I don't know what speed that he, he how fast he went to from Catherine Street to Larchwood. That I don't know. But he did the right thing.